Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Bear Review. Let's go check and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is from Cooper's Brewery. This is their best extra stout. So we'll see how best it is, huh? <laughs> this comes out of the Cooper's Brewery out of Australia. It is their foreign slash export stout. Coming in at 6.30 ABV. Year round serving for this one too, so they make it all year long. And if you can get Cooper's beers, you ought to be able to get this one too. Uh, food pairings in general, the uh, suggestion is chocolate, it's a dessert type beer, and the meat it says smoked meat and grilled meat. So glassware, pint, mug, snifter, oversized wine, tulip, I've got the Duvel glass here, uh, that's what I'm going to use today, I like using that for the stouts and the porters. And it said it can be selling for uh, ex uh, extended periods under the proper conditions, but it's only 6.30, so... Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep it more than a year or two, so, oh, this is a twisty. Keep forgetting about these Coopers. Ah. We're going to pour it down the center and see what we end up with, we think. Right down the center, yeah. Alrighty, look at there. You got about a finger of head, not quite a finger. Into the light we're looking, and it is black. Uh, I can see uh, just a little bit of the bubbles coming up from the outside of the glass going to the top there. So, uh, fairly dark beer. I mean, it is really dark. I don't see a whole lot of light coming around it. So, uh, typical for uh, stout to be that dark. So, the bubbles are uh, fairly large on the side of the glass there, on, on the head there. So, let's get a nose on it and see what we got here. Oh, that smells really good. Chocolate, coffee, roasted malts. Smells rather sweet too. So I don't know if it's going to be a bittersweet chocolate or, or not. Or more of a milk, a lactose type uh, chocolate. Wow, wow. That smells wonderful in the glass. Oh yeah. Cheers everybody. From the beer down under. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Very pleasant. Now, definitely got the chocolate there. Roasted malt. Maybe even a little tobacco there. Well, it's very appealing, very pleasing. Very nice smell. A little thin to me, a little thin, thin on the taste, the mouthfeel. Not a bad representation of the style. I'm liking this. Uh, this is above average beer. It's uh, right out of the fridge. 40 degrees. You all know the drill. We're going to sip on it. See what we end up with here. We'll do the final chug and give it to Greg here in a couple seconds. Stick around. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass here. I've been sipping on it probably about 35, 40 minutes or so. Very nice. I mean, it's an above average beer. It's not, it's not an exceptional or a top notch beer, but it's a pretty good uh, example of a 6.3, which is a, a lower ABV stout. Uh, got a lot of sediments in the bottles uh, that they do, so that's another thing that I'm not really hip on. But it's good beer, uh, coffee, roasted malts, got all kind of uh, flavors in this beer, so very enjoyable. Got a good good aroma to it, so if you like the chocolate coffee stouts. You'll probably like this one too. Final chug, guy. Right. 
That's pretty good. That's pretty good. If it didn't have all the sediment in it, it'd probably get an A. But uh, with all that sediment in it, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of all that sediment. So I'm going to give it a B plus. It's a 7 on the scale tonight. Uh, great beer has it at 94 overall and a 79 in the style. And Beer Advocate has it as a B plus. So uh, that's what I'm going to give it to, a B plus. So uh, didn't care for all the sediments in the bottle. And I tried to pour it with that in there. But there's still some big dark chunks in the, in the bottom of the bottle so uh, I'm not a big fan of all those floaties and stuff in there so that being said guys if you've had it let me know give me some comments back on this one and uh, as always rate, comment, subscribe and we're going to do it again tomorrow guys come on back then